Hey everybody, it's Andy. A while ago, the Vietnamese company Chen Tactical, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, released the CT-15 backpack. And at the time, a lot of people thought that it was a very, very, very similar bag to the GORUCK Bullet 15. More recently, C Tactical released a V2 version of the CT-15, and they've made enough changes and maybe even improvements to the bag that right now I think it sets itself more as something inspired by than a copy of. So today I'm going to be comparing the CT-15 V2 against the GORUCK Bullet 15. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Let's get into the bags. All right, so just to start out basic, both of these bags are advertised at a 15 liter size, uh, Bullet 15, CT-15. Material-wise, the CT-15 is made of a 500D Cordura. The GORUCK Bullet was made of a 500D Cordura, but now I believe they sell them in a 210D Cordura. The GORUCK Bullet comes in weight-wise, uh, the newer versions at least, at about 1.6 pounds, whereas the CT-15 V2 comes in just around 2.2 pounds, or 1.1 kilograms on their website. Price-wise, the Bullet 15, new from GORUCK, comes in at $150 plus shipping from the US, which ends up being around $10 or $20. Whereas the one of the big differences is that the CT-15 V2 comes in at $69 US. However, because they don't have any American or North American warehouses, all of them are shipped from Sea Tactical in Vietnam. And so they have a large uh, DHL or international shipping fee. So for me to get this to Detroit, it ended up costing $112 in total, 69 for the price and the remaining 40-ish on shipping. So it still came out as being less expensive than the GORUCK, uh, but it's just something to consider when you're looking into the price of these bags. The big difference is CT15 comes in a lot less. All right, now let's start off with the front of the bags. The GORUCK Bullet 15 goes uh, basically along the lines of the standard GORUCK design. So at the top of the bag here, we have a three by two Velcro patch with their reverse American flag, where you can stick um, you know, whatever patch you have. There's the slant pocket, which goes all the way down the front of the bag. Uh, nothing above the zipper, but it goes down to the corners. And in general, this tends to be a pretty flat pocket. And then we've got three rows of PALS webbing that are, um, you know, they're about four usable ones, and these are a lot smaller. The CT-15 goes a step farther with its uh, front of the bag. We still have a uh, loop field over here at the top with the uh, C-Tactical logo there. It's a bit larger. This is a similar size patch, three by two, and there's still some, some loop over on the side. Instead of having any sort of the, the slam pocket like GORUCK, this one goes all the way across horizontal, and it is a bit more feature-filled. There's a level of organization in here where you have some pen slots and uh, some little slip pockets where I can fit things like a chapstick. And that is uh, the sort of organization that you don't find in the GORUCK bag. I actually really like this sort of admin panel style organization, but the pocket still goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And in there right now, uh, just to show how it's filled out, I have this uh, Bluetooth speaker that I carry with me. Below the pocket is another loop field. This one goes the entire front width of the bag. And here I have uh, multiple patches that I've adhered to the front. On the edges of the bag, there are these little uh, tabs here where you could attach some sort of accessory with maybe a gatekeeper clip, or if you have some sort of elastic cord and you want to thread it through, you could do something so you could like stick a sweater in there. I don't have that anything on here because I kind of like keeping it open. And finally, similar to the GORUCK, you have um, PALS webbing going three rows. Uh, these ones are equal sides. So these edge ones work at the same size as the middle ones. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six by three. And over here, I just have some uh, reflective straps. I've been using this bag uh, going out and biking. As far as the zippers go for the bag, GORUCK uses uh, these YKK zippers with a shrink wrap tubing around some paracord. And uh, all of the zippers have this like gunmetal thing and they're very smooth. 
The C tactical bag doesn't have any shrink wrap around the paracord, but it's still a knotted paracord around this uh, zipper pull. It looks like I don't see any indication if it's YKK. Um, oh, maybe I do. Yep, just checking on one of the other zippers. It does have the YKK logo on the back. And then um, one thing to note is that C Tactical actually colors these zipper bits to the same color as the bag. So here we have a gray one. Uh, if you got like the black one, it would be black. Or if you got the, the bright orange one they just released, it's also in bright orange. So that matches, that's a bit different. Looking over at the sides of the bags, uh, the GORUCK bullet is pretty empty. There's nothing here, it's just the raw material. On the C Tactical bag though, we have some more PALS webbing. This is similar to what you'd see on the GORUCK GR size bags. And one thing that you'll notice is that the CT15 over here has a lot of the same features as a GR1. Uh, it also comes in a 21 liter size, so that's very comparable, but I don't have one of those to show you. Anyway, we have two rows of PALS webbing, uh, sorry, two by three of PALS webbing over on the bottom, and then two more up here on top. On the other side of the bag, you can see I've attached this uh, VanQuest water bottle holder, and I have just a Camelback chute that I've had over here on the side attached to that webbing. And I think it's really nice to be able to stick a water bottle on the outside. Looking now at the bottom of the bag, GORUCK Bullet has uh, some padding here, but otherwise it's just flat. And the CT15 has uh, a little bit of padding too, but it also has four of these uh, additional loops here. So you can attach some, some straps if you wanted to do things like uh, loop something to the bottom, like a, a tent or a mat roll or whatever. Uh, I have these empty and it doesn't come with anything there. Finally, moving over to the top of the bags, on the GORUCK, we have the signature GORUCK handle. This is, um, you know, a very, very stitched on. And below it is uh, an opening for sticking out a hydration bladder. Uh, if you have a hose from there, you can stick it out through the top there. On the Sea Tactical bag, we have a slightly different handle. This one sticks up a bit more. There's more room to stick a hand through, but it's a similar style. You got the box stitch with the cross, and then uh, the same thing on the bottom loop right next to this Cordura sticker. One thing I notice, and hopefully the camera picks it up, is on the GORUCK, you have these thick, almost bar tacks uh, along the edges here. So this handle really isn't going anywhere. And here I see what looks like a double stitch on some of them, but it just doesn't feel as thick as on the GORUCK. Still, both of these handles are, feel very secure, and I'm not worried about any of them giving up anytime soon. Over now to the back of the bags. The GORUCK has uh, these GORUCK straps, a uh, very uh, similar box and cross with the, the bars over here to attach them. Uh, the bag, the GORUCK doesn't come with a sternum strap. This is a, an external one that I got and I've attached here, but it does have the webbing on the straps to attach them. And behind the straps, there's some light padding, um, just two maybe air channels, uh, but overall it's pretty flat, adjustable, uh, very simple back panel. On the Sea Tactical bag, things are a little bit different. First, at the top here, we have this little port that goes into the main pocket. This is where the hydration bladder hose would go through over here. Instead of coming in from under the handle on the GORUCK, it comes in through this port in the back. Uh, the port is situated so that there's like a top flap over the bottom flap, so I'm not worried about rainwater or anything getting in through there. As far as the straps go, these are actually a lot more padded than the GORUCK ones. They have a similar style of attachment at the top, but if you can see that on the camera, uh, these just are a lot thicker in padding. The padding feels a lot more uh, squishy, but this padding feels a lot more rigid. So take that as you will. There's also a lot more padding on the top compared to the GORUCK, and that might affect the comfort on your shoulders. The Sea Tactical bag came with this uh, sternum strap. It has one of these elastic doohickeys. And at the bottom, it also has these uh, quick releases. So if you've got the bag on and for some reason you need to let it off in an emergency, you just unclip and the straps come off. Below the straps, there are these little loops here where you could attach an external waist belt if you uh, were inclined to do that. And there are these uh, built-in elastic strapper keepers that came with these straps. So a bit more sort of raw features coming in for the back of the Sea Tactical bag. Finally, we have uh, the back 
panel has more of a, a texture to it. Still, not really air channels. It's just where the, uh, the, the threading and the sewing is. Um, but the main thing is, and more reminiscent of a GR1 or GORUCK released a, a Bullet 16 that has these two, is a GORUCK style or similar to GORUCK style laptop compartment. Normally, the GR1s have one zipper. When it's closed, it's up here. And when it's open, it goes down to here. This has two zipper pulls, and so you can store them wherever you want. And in here, I'm able to fit a 13-inch MacBook Air, or I was able to fit my 14-inch MacBook Pro in here as well. And then within here, this side is uh, padded. This side is not padded. And behind this little Velcro thing, you can get access to the frame sheet that's in here. Now, let's get into the main compartment of these bags. Both bags feature a full clamshell uh, style zipper, so it opens with the flap up. Very, very similar. Um, and inside, we have some pockets over here. The GORUCK has a pocket that has a solid Cordura up top, followed by a pocket that has the solid mesh. And here's the um, GORUCK uh, bullet rack built in the USA little label that they have on the inside of all their bags. On the CT15, we've got a similar solid pocket. Um, over here, I just have some tissues when I'm biking in the wind, uh, the winter especially, sometimes I need uh, to blow my nose. And below it, we have a mesh pocket. Uh, this mesh feels like a lighter mesh than GORUCK uses, but it also has this pleating, so it expands to hold a bit more depth-wise. And here I have just a, a little bike toolkit and some extra masks in case I need those. Also inside the bag, I just uh, was able to store my um, Air City Sling V2, some gloves, and a hat. On the back of the inside, uh, GORUCK has this thin sort of uh, pocket where if you want to put some papers or maybe you could fit in like a laptop like the MacBook Air over here or a very light ruck plate, you could, or not light, but a, a smaller ruck plate could fit in here. Um, and up top, there's a little D-ring where you can pass in the hydration bladder port through. On the CT15, at the top, we have two little loops. Uh, they actually sell an attachment that comes in that you can attach to this. Uh, but below that, we have this uh, pocket that has like expandability over here. This is very similar to what you see in a GORUCK GR1. And I have here a, a bike lock and uh, a nice heavy loop over there. And I was able to fit that in. And also at the bottom here, we have two more of these loops. Uh, feeling wise, this is like a soft material, the kind of thing where it's not quite full loop, but I can attach some Velcro hook style stuff to it and that stays on. So something uh, a bit interesting on the inside, if you have any accessories that might fit there, uh, that would go. All right, so those are the similarities and differences between the Gen Tactical CT15 and the GORUCK Bullet 15 backpacks. Is one uh, very similar to the other in design? Yes. I do feel like some of the improvements that CT has made on the V2 version of the bag with regards to attachments and with regards to the internal organization here do make it feel like enough of a different bag that I would say this is now inspired by the GORUCK and I don't feel like it's the same exact bag at all. GORUCK actually, when they released their uh, Bullet 16 with the laptop compartment, actually felt like they were taking feedback from what Chun Tactical did and responded by delivering a product that met the needs of people who want something in this form factor with that laptop compartment. Still, if I'm looking then at the 21 sized version against the GORUCK GR1 21 liter, you might find that it's a bit more similar than between the 15 liter sized bags, uh, but I don't have those to compare right now. In general, I think both are great bags for doing what you wanna do with them. They're small, they're compact, uh, they carry as much as you need. I personally really like this front panel organization and the attachment points on the side, so I'm probably gonna continue using my CT15 in the foreseeable future. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Thank you very much again for watching, and have a nice day.